Hi again! Hi! It's part three of our How Well Do We Know Each Other video, and this is the last video. So I know you well. I don't know, you've kind of been sucking. Yeah. <laughs> well, it happened. Well, you know what? What? There are trivia things that I don't know. <laughs> well, exactly. But, there's this song that's in the movie Beaches. Beaches, whatever the hell it is. Meth Biddler and her best friend dies eventually at the end of it. I don't remember the name of the song either. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right now. Okay. I can mention they're on a beach. It makes me cry all the time. Oh, when you're talking about the movie Beaches, I thought you were talking about the one with Leonardo DiCaprio. No, I don't even know. Which I've never fully seen. It's two friends when they, they meet. One's a little dancer. She's a little stuck up rich girl. And she's on her pier and she's lost. Oh my god. You don't know that movie? Mm -mm. I've never seen Thelma and Louise either. <gasps> That's me, <and> Dana. <laughs> Okay. Guys, <laughs> no. All right. You are my hero. It's the song. You are my. Hero. You always know that you're my hero. That song's in it. <laughs> okay. All right. Because you're my lifesaver. Oh, thank you. I don't think if I didn't have you when I had you, I figured I'd. How do I put it this personally? You can't say that though, because you don't know what your life would turn out to be like. No, but I knew my life was not headed in a good direction. Yeah, but you could have gotten help. You never know. I mean, I wasn't drinking or drugging or anything like that. I just... You were depressed. Yeah, a really bad depression. What? No self-esteem. Well, I'd always had a good personality, okay? I always had a snappy comeback, but self-image, never. And I sometimes still struggle with that self-image to this day. I look at this camera and I see my cheek. I look like my mom so much. But I'm okay with that. Because you know what? I landed a husband that's all that mattered. <laughs> no. Alright. Okay. Am I a coffee drinker or tea drinker? You coffee. like tea? Your coffee. Yep. You Every morning. Daddy. Two cups a day gets me going. Alright. Well, let's see. <laughs> oh, what's your favorite TV show? I have two. Oh my god. <laughs> like, are you serious? <laughs> Here's a super yes. supernatural. Okay, and? That once upon a thing going once on. Once upon a time. I was going to say once upon a child. But <laughs> once upon a child, that's a story. <laughs> what would be my second one if I had to pick one? If you had to. Still running? Oh shit. That's a hard tough song. Exactly. Because I'll go on. CSI or yeah. that show with Jennifer Garner. Alias. alias. Yes. That's it. Alias. Oh, alias. I miss Alias. If you had to pick another one that's on today. It's kind of not even... A, I don't classify it as like a... It's a series, but not like NCIS. It's more um, like um, Everyday Channel Living. Mm -hmm. The Doctors? No. Dr. Phil? No. It's like, um... Deadly Sketch? That'd be one. No, it'd be Wahlburgers. I love Wahlburgers. I like Wahlburgers. Oh, that's like a comedy Yeah, thing. It's like, it's because it's real life. I don't know what they call that TV. It's like Jersey Shore Wives. Kinda. I would it reality TV? Reality TV. Okay. I love Donnie and Mark and Paul Wahlburgers. And I told you... Wahlburgers? Jay, yes. Wahlburgers is their restaurant. But they're the Wahlburgers. But I told Dad we're going to Chicago because I heard they're building one down there. We're taking a road trip. He's like, I don't think so. I'm like, I'm going there. That's on my I'm list. I'm going home with Marky Mark. That's <laughs> on my list. My <laughs> bucket list is to get at a Wahlburgers. You're um, lucky I don't want to go out to Boston. 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 What else is one of my favorite shows? I don't know. Yes, you do. Uh, do I watch it? Yes. How often? It only comes on in April. <laughs> Oh, Game of Thrones. Yep. Or think, you see, I'm thinking like two, five, twenty six, yeah, eleven. No. I'm not thinking no. like Abel. Game of Thrones is a special though. What's yeah. another series that I used to love? That we both love. King Harry. Oh, the Tudors. Yes. Bren oh, uh, Brendan. Mm -hmm. Henry. Henry. Okay. Anyways, um, Superman, dude. What did he play? Henry Cavill. Yeah. So who did Cavill. 
Seville? Preville? I don't remember what he played in there. Brandon! He He's played a, the king's best friend. Yeah. Um... Would I want any more siblings than what I already have? No. That's a lie. You would? Yeah. I always wanted a baby sister. Oh. I did not know that. I don't know. I don't see you wanting more. You had a baby sister and an older brother. What more could you want? Maybe a younger brother? I am... Well, I was a baby. Yeah, but then you got a baby sister. Then my dad remarried oh. and had a baby sister. Yep. I always wanted a baby brother. Really? So I could beat him like my older brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My brother would be picked on me, and we had the hate love relationship, my brother Timmy and I. So I always wanted a baby brother so I could give back to the baby brother like the older brother gave it to me. But then I realized, you know what, the older brother probably would have been giving it to both of us. So then the brother and I would probably be like this. But I also think it has a lot to do with age. Yeah, five years between kids is a lot. Where's especially, my kids? Especially when you have a brother. Because your mother's working her ass off and is in charge. Mm -hmm. So you went from having a brother to a babysitter or whatever, and he hated it. And he hated the fact that he had to stay home and take care of his sister, who was five years younger, because mom was working. Yep. So he was kind of like parenting when he shunted at 15. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where the hostility came between Timmy and I. Because my kids... You got along kids great is, as adults. Yeah. Each one of my kids... Allie is six, Bubba is three, Riley is zero. So there's a three-year age gap between all three <coughs> of my kids. And Bubba and Allie get along perfectly. Mm -hmm. See, so, Jamie and I got along better than Timmy and I. He wasn't technically blood, though. At the same time. Yeah, but we were raised together pretty much since he was 13, 14 years old. That's true. So like I mean, it's like my me mom and Tim. was more, in, yeah, more influence on him than his own parents were. Because I get along really well with him. But look at Chrissy and I, 10 years. And different well, yeah, parents. That's Leah and we have same fathers, but different mother. But they looked at me as Ew. strong the non-believer. Yeah. Um, you divorced your kid, divorced, so you divorced your kids too, which is bullshit. And then you remarry and have another family. Okay. Anyways, so then you don't matter. Um, what is your favorite restaurant? What is my favorite restaurant? I'll learn it. Hell if I know. I don't. I took you there a couple of weeks ago. You went a couple weeks ago. Oh, do you smell? Yes! You, Dad, me, and Sam? Mama? Oh, downtown, that's your favorite restaurant. I love downtown. cannery. Oh, I wouldn't count that. That's like. Not that's a restaurant. Yeah, it's a restaurant. It's a restaurant. I didn't think it'd be your favorite. Usually, Olive Garden is. No, not even then. Olive Garden was just good pasta. Mama? Okay. What's. Well, I don't. It's fine. I don't know. Yeah, I'm see, I don't have a favorite restaurant. I like go to my mood in for see. Yeah, but I like cannery because I love that grilled cheese sandwich. That was good. which was delicious. Um, I said, hold on. Um, what was my least favorite school subject? Yours was math. Science, did you do you want to dissect a frog? Pig. Pig. Yeah. I hated science for mm -hmm. that so yeah. long. Reason. Or is it called biology? It was, um. Whatever. Yeah, it was advanced biology. Yeah. And I boycotted it. Really? <laughs> happy baby down there. So, to go full tummy now. Yeah, it's a full um, tummy. Um. Hmm. What is my favorite breakfast food? Yours! I think you just like toast. You don't really eat breakfast. I don't eat breakfast. Yours? Mm -hmm. Yogurt. Yeah, I wouldn't classify yogurt as breakfast food. Oh. Yogurt is like any time of the day for me. Yeah. Mine's actually cooked. Cooked? Well, won't be bacon, I know that. Your brother's pancakes. Oh, those are good, but that's not it. Oh. Not close? You're kind of. I don't think they Nanny used to make it every weekend that I would go there. Did she burn it? No, it was one of the few things that she could actually take care of. Grits and biscuits. Oh, biscuits and gravy. I didn't even think about that. Am I wrong? It's a tie. I'll give you get biscuits oh, yeah, and gravy. Look. But it's French toast. Oh. 
What am I walking into? Getting out of the recording. No, Are you, you walked want? in. Huh? Are you wanted or something? Maybe. Oh. We're doing the how Pause well. It for a sec. How well we're doing questions about each other. You can't if pause. you could see any deceased musician perform, who would it be? Who would I want to go see? I have no idea. Musician who's dead and you want to bring him back? I know, one that of, I can go see. One of your twos is going to be Prince. Yeah. Oh, shit, I forgot that he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not actually good. I'd love to see. You'd like to go see Michael Jackson. Yeah, I've seen Michael Jackson. Well, you said you'd love to see Michael Jackson. I already seen Michael Jackson. Okay, fine. I'll take that back. You're going to be like, but neither one of you are going to get this. I don't think I will. I don't think you get mine either. I have no idea. Not even a bulb, I guess. Is he? It is a male. Male. How old? How old would he be? How old was he when he died? Was he in a group or in by himself? He was in a group. Okay. And he's part of the 28 club. So he was 28 when he died. He's a damn stirred up his nose shit, hey? No. I can't picture him because he just died. It was recent. No. Huh? No. No, no, no. Is there a group that you and your dad went and saw? All my rejects? No. Oh. He's still alive. I have no idea that man. Shockingly. I have no idea. Really? I don't. Suicide by Shotgun. Kurt Cobain. <gasps> I would love to go see Nirvana. Oh, that would be cool. Why didn't you say in my era? Because you're an ass. Or I would love to go see Frank Sinatra. <laughs> really? Yeah, I would love to see Frank Sinatra. Okay. Um, okay, you. What generation? Mine. He's not a singer. But it's just You said musician. musician. Could be a guitar okay, player, could fine. be a drum player, could be anything. Does he play the the cello thing? The dude you named my brother after. No. I don't know. Ooh, Randy Rose from Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, okay. Okay. And I would love to s meet the guy who sang La Baba. La Baba. La Baba. Richie Valens. I don't know who that is. Oh. Well, at least I don't think I have to. He's with the big bopper, Richie Valens. Look. You know the song. Okay. La 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 Bamba. <laughs> okay, um, no, I was just kidding about that. Oh, that'd be cool to see him. But I would love to see the guy, the uh, composer, the composer there. Um, Beethoven. Yes, thank you. I'd like to see Mozart. Him too. Okay. Um, what's my least favorite music? You hate rap. I hate rap. Not rap. She hates like the hip hop rap. Because I listen to the occasional rap and she's alright with it. She hates the rap that you rap so fast that she's like, what are they even saying? I, I don't under... And I hate opera because I can't understand I it. love opera. Phantom of the Opera is one of my favorite. No, I like that. Operas. But I, don't, I can't get so, some of the music. Ah! I've seen it. So, um... I'm taking them home, home tonight. What is your favorite flavor of ice cream? Banana looks through me. Yeah. What? What's my favorite flavor of ice cream? You don't really have one. You don't like ice cream. I don't like ice cream. Is it child or is it adult? There's a difference between ice cream flavors? Well, sometimes your taste buds change. It's more adultish, I guess. I could see it being more adultish. Oh, hell, I don't know. It's one of Dad's favorites. I was going to say ma mint or maple knot. Not maple knot. Look at that uh, mint. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Either butter pecan or salted sea or See salted caramel oh. ice cream. See that one. So adultish, I would say that. Yeah. Kind of getting old. Dad always liked mint. Or mint. butter pecan. No maple nut. No, Nana's was maple nut. Dad's was butter pecan. Oh. It's uh, gonna rain. The circus gonna rain. Yeah, we're supposed to get. Okay. Um, do you prefer cats or dogs? Who do I prefer? Pigs. It's a cat or dogs. Probably a dog. I miss having. Dog. I miss how dogs. Dog. See, I'm an animal person. I would. I have. I have always had both. So, I had yeah. one. I had one or the other, or one or both. But right now, I have cats. But I tell you, if I move, I'm getting dog. I, I know. miss a dog. I miss if we a dog. get this house, I'm getting played, a dog. I played with the couple we went on and saw. She had a dog, and I was just in heaven. I want a dog so bad. <laughs> 
We All right. that companion. Dad said we got their grandpas. We may get a dog. Just not a very big dog. You don't have to get a big dog. Just a dog. Not an ankle biter, easy said, because that guy that walks the neighborhood with that little dog that's the Yorkie! Bless the heart, because he's such a big man. He is, he's a big guy. He's, he's got this itty bitty Yorkie. I just picture, I can't remember what cartoon it was, but it's like a ghost, and you're walking, and, and he's got the. It, it, yeah, it's an old cartoon. It's, he's a ghost, and he's walking, and all you see is this leash with the little collar, and there's nothing there. <gasps> yeah, I remember what you're talking about. I don't remember the name of the cartoon. Yeah. I'm sorry, Riley. When I see the guy, that's all I can think because the dog's way out in front of him, and it's so tiny. And if you watch, you have to wa follow. Yeah, I because know. Because it's not a, a regular Yorkie. It's a min it's a teacup more teacup York Yorkie. It's so tiny. It's cute. Annoying. I said, I said, I asked him, why do you have the leash so far out? He says, I don't know. It's his girlfriend. Okay, next question. What is your favorite cartoon? That's the next one. What's my favorite cartoon? I have two. I'll give you it if you get one of these. Shit. I keep thinking those babies. Rugrats? Yeah. That is one of them. I'll give you that. Okay. Your Flintstones? <laughs> Are the Jetsons? <laughs> I don't know. I'll give you Smurfs. Oh my God, Smurfs! I knew that. <laughs> the other one was Fairly Odd Parents. I was singing the fairies. And I couldn't remember what that was Fairly called. Fairly Odd Parents. Yeah, because I, I love them. Yes. Um, it's all on that same channel. Yep. Nickelodeon. Yep. Yeah, girl, you're a Nickelodeon child. Mm -hmm. Not a Disney. Nickelodeon. My kids are Disney. Yeah. But now when I look at the cartoons is on Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon it's so still, stupid. Is it still on? Yeah, Spongebob's oh. still on. Okay. Um, Bob Squid, do I like surprises? I don't think you like surprises. Yes, I think you do. I hate surprises. Hate I hate surprises. Don't surprise me. Don't surprise me with a surprise party. Yeah. Don't do oh, that birthday way. parties. I don't like don't. that way. I but I like surprise. gift surprises like out of the blue. Like your yeah, out of the blue is nice. Like I gave you the monkey. Like the monkey and that Sansa thing that I got. Those are cool, but I don't generally I don't like... like oh, no, I surprised you yeah. 30. Yeah, I don't generally I like don't, surprises. don't, because I don't like getting startled either, because Tim does that to me. I did that to you on your birthday that one year. Um, I knew that was happening. Have I ever had a speeding ticket? No, you have actually got lucky. I have never had a speeding thing. Me neither. Woo! I did get just busted once for driving without a license, <laughs> though, but I wasn't speeding. Have you ever had a parking ticket? I have. No. Nope. Really? Never You've never had a parking ticket? No. Nope. I'm, I'm not impressed. Yeah. But my parking ticket was... Bullshit. Yeah, that was BS. So. The only re Yeah, because I don't really drive. The only reason I drove that day is because my dad... Had a breakdown at the nursing home. Dad was too tired to take me, so I jumped on the car and went. Where usually yeah. I don't drive. And what happened? I learned a hard lesson. I got pulled over. Mm. So, um, have you had underage drinking ticket that I don't know about? No. Why do you? However, have I was about to tell you. I went out to a party one time in Denmark. You don't know this one. I went out to a party in Denmark, and me and Savannah were both there, and we. Not both of us, but she got really, really drunk, and I was drinking. And we were also with her friend, and she was the designated driver. And um, we, cops busted the party, and we climbed out a window so we wouldn't get the ticket for underage drinking. You told me that. I knew that. <laughs> Did I tell you that? Oh, yeah. I don't that. remember that. But we climbed out a second. Because Nadine was your designated driver. Yes, Nadine was! <laughs> Because Lucy was there, and Lucy, it was a second story house, yeah. and I couldn't bear the thought of getting an underage drinking ticket. Yeah, so Lucy were... jumped out the window, and then caught Savannah, and then caught me, and we booked it to the court people. Yep, gotcha. I remember, yeah, I remember that. you told me that. I think I came home drunk. Yes. And you were like, what have you two been up to? Nothing! Nothing. Giggle, giggle, go, go. <laughs> eh, I was just, I was, I'd have been more mad. If you draw. No, Nadine was always a designated. Nadine come walking in behind you, so I knew. We had a friend Nadine, do it. My who parents, never ever drank. Parents never. may, you know, may, people may look at me, my parenting skills is one of these. They're going to do it regardless. I always, t my grandfather told me, your children, raise your children proper, but have you may have your children through you or here. So if they knew they messed up, they, they knew they messed up, but they also knew they could come to you. Dad's rule, yours and dad's rule was, 
If you're drinking and you call. need a ride, call. We'd rather get the phone call that, hey, I was stupid and being drunk. I need a ride home versus the phone, the phone call from the police department Permit. saying, hey, we need you to come identify a body. Yep. That was your thing. Yep. And when I remember you saying that to me, when I hit, like, you know, that age, 15, yep. 16, and I... And we discussed it the next morning. We wouldn't discuss it that night. Yeah. That was also the other Because there was only one time that I actually needed to call because I... The person that I was with, we got dropped off. And the person, the party was, it was a, it was a really bad one. And it wasn't a good one. And Kim and I were both really gone. Yep. And we got uncomfortable at this party. Dad came and by. Dad came and got me. Yep. And we weren't of age yet. We were close, but we weren't kids of age. Are kids. And then you I remember it. thinking, or no, this wasn't that time. This was the time with Savannah mm -hmm. that I'm talking about. East Side. That was the party that I got super uncomfortable. We were both 17. Got super uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. There was a guy. It was a guy that made yeah. it uncomfortable. Yeah. And we both left. And we had well, no way home because. We called Daddy. Yep, I called Dad from a payphone because we found a payphone actually because yep. my cell phone died. Yep. And it called us collect. Yep. I knew something was bad. Yep. I didn't. Not bad, but I knew you were desperate enough to call collect. Yep. And, and I remember collect accepting call. Yeah, it was like, you have a collect call. Are you willing to accept the charges? And mom and was I'm like, yeah. And then she, I, she picked up. She's like, are you in jail? No. <laughs> I was it's like, like, no. Uh, that's all they had. So, but, but, and then dad came and found us on the east side. Yep, you guys. And we got in the car. Bush. Yep. Because you told me where you were, and I told you to go sit between two bushes at the. You the told strip. us to go sit in two bushes or to go to the gas station. And we yeah. walked to the gas station. Yeah. Because it was a quick trip. Because I remember... And we sat on the curb. And, yep, and I called the quick trip, and the guy knew you yep. guys... You guys yeah, there was... The, the guy... The manager walked out. He was an older gentleman, and he was like, I'm supposed to keep an eye on you, too. Don't move. <laughs> so, but, um... And Dad picked us up, and That's I what's remember wrong the whole right time... Now, is I said, where are you? And they said, across the road from a quick trip. And I said, go to the quick trip and sit on the curb. Yep. That's where Dad will pick you up. Yep. And I hung up and called the quick trip, and the guy answered, and I explained, there are two girls sitting on your curb... They're pissed up. My husband's on the way to get them. Yep. Don't let them leave. And he yep. walked out and told the girls, strike. <laughs> yep. He gave us soda. <laughs> yeah. He was pretty but cool. He was nice. But that, that is what's wrong. Yep. It's because people don't want to do that anymore. No. They look the other way. That's the yep. problem. But Dad came and picked us up, and I remember sitting in the front seat of the car, freaking out the whole time that he was going to start yelling and screaming and bitching and he never said a word no nope. and then we got home me and so went to bed yep. and then we woke up the next morning you guys took us out for breakfast yep. and we talked about what happened yep. and it wasn't even the fact that we were like completely wasted or anything but i i was more proud that you guys called yeah. actually there was a guy who i think slipped my friend something yeah we couldn't really prove it nothing happened but it the just thing is, is you're gonna do it kids do it yep. anyways you can preach and pull everything Tell you're under the weather. They are yeah. out of sight, out of mind. Okay. Hey, give me a drink. Sure. You guys, it's, I was there. You've been there. Your dad's been there. I do the same thing if Allie called me 10 years from now. Yeah. And that's the scene. She'll be 16. With Leah, my stepdaughter, she's going to be 13 in yeah. 22 days. She'll be 13. And she's oh hitting. My Good Lord, she's a teen yep. after her number. And she's going into what seventh grade. I get that and kid I have no idea. And where she's living, I, I told him to stay on the side of the house sometime. And um, I told her, you know, she's where she lives, seventh grade is middle school, yeah, seventh, eighth, yeah. and ninth. And then, this is Tim. He thinks he's full of it. And then junior, what you sophomore, doing? junior, senior is high school. He's trying to be impressive. What? But um, I told you, you know, just call. Thank Regardless of the fact that we're half an hour away, so I'd nice. come get her. We're over 20 minutes. We've got to go. Yep. But that's all we have for you. If you come up with any more questions that you think we should ask each other, you should totally leave it in the comments below. Or I even ask us. Yeah, or even if you want to ask us. How the bonehead became in our life. Yeah, that's a story. Oh, my God, we should do a second video Let's just for that. This way, he, he still owes my husband a belt buckle. Yep, that's a great story. We should do that next. I can out drink them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be fun? Okay. That would All be right. fun. Well, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. We're just gonna do the next video. So see you guys.